Remember that there are three kinds of men. Three kinds. The first kind of man is a hunter. A hunter is a man who looks for something that is thriving, something that is doing well, something that is successful. Then he will take it. The only problem that hunters have with their, with their capture is that they are intimidated by their capture. That's why every hunter must kill the capture. That, hunters go after lion, but they cannot keep the lion. They go after elephants, but they can't keep the elephant. Do you understand where I'm coming from? So, a hunter man is the one that is inspired by successful women. Then, he will capture her heart and kill her dream. He will kill her beauty. Because he's intimidated. That lipstick that caught his eye. He's believing in his heart that that same lipstick will cut somebody else's eye. So, he will tell her, no more lipstick. Say, this is me, I'm here already. So when you see the wife of a hunter, she is an ex-woman. She, was, she used to be a dreamer. She used to be a successful woman. She used to score A's. She used to have a dream of doing masters. Have a dream of, but everything is finished. Because a hunter has caught her. And he uses her carcass for his boast. The second kind of man or husband is a man called a scavenger. Hey. A scavenger, as you know, is like a vulture. They, they eat dead things. Dying things. You understand? So a scavenger man is one who looks for a woman who has no self-esteem or low self-esteem. Somebody who needs to be loved to become a human being. Somebody who needs to be loved, who needs money, who needs this. A scavenger man likes weak people. Somebody who is in need. Somebody who cannot be by... Do, do you understand? That's why scavenger lecturers like girls that fail. You understand? So you go and meet me and say, Please, sir. I say, come and see me. Come and see me. A scavenger manager likes the people that don't meet their targets. So that you have to beg. You understand that? So essentially, if you go and look at most scavenger husbands, they like house girls. Ouch, ouch. Because they feel like the girl needs a job. So even as beautiful, as great as their wife can be, because of that scavenger in them, is the weak one that they want to pray on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Men, ask the man there, are you a scavenger? Lord have mercy. The third one is a gardener. Gardener, wow. A gardener is the man who receives his wife and he sees her as a seed with great potential to become. So what a husband man or a gardener does is to plant his wife in his heart and in his home. Then he waters her. He exposes her to the light, education, information, possibilities, vision. And sometimes, yes, he will have to prune her to say, no, you can't do that. Or, no, you can't. Because he wants her to blossom. Yeah. Not because he's trying to overpower her. Therefore, whenever you see a husband man, the wife will be blossoming. She's finer than she used to be before. Before, she wasn't talking about business. Now, she's running a business. Before, she has one branch. Now, she's talking multiple branches. Because the gardener is bringing out the potential in her. You understand? Now, the man that God said it is not good to be alone. Was that man a hunter? No. Was he a scavenger? No. What was he? Say it again. Say it again. Men, if you are not proud of your wife, it is not your wife that has a problem. It is you. Because what the gardener is saying is I'm not proud of my garden. It is your job to make your, your wife the woman that you will be proud of. That is your job. Now, lastly, please listen to this. How does a wife or a woman know if this guy is a gardener? How can I tell if you will love me and you are single? Very simple. You don't have me, but you have God. 
A man that cannot love God passionately cannot love his wife passionately. So, men, cast yourself free in worship because the woman that is your own, it is most likely in the place of worship that she will know that you are truly a lover. Wow, put your hands together. Heart to heart, real people, real experiences.